<laughs> hey guys, it's Bubbles and welcome to a little haul vlog. Haul vlog? A little haul of my London 21st birthday little trip that I literally just took. I literally just got back like, I don't know how long ago, like 20 minutes ago. I thought, let's just film the haul before I end up using anything. So, just a little thing if you haven't seen the videos, they're probably up by now. Um, we did Friday and Saturday. On Friday I went to Natural History Museum and on Saturday we did Disney Store, Primark and Madame Two Swords, which is today actually. <laughs> we just did that. We were going to go to Cinderella on the West End but my dad didn't read the fine print and it said that we had to be either double vaccined or have to, uh, had like a negative test and we didn't do either. I'm not double vaccine vaccinated yet. <laughs> So we're going to do that at some point. Ooh, something, I think the thing just went off. Right, so without further ado, let's start off in chronological order with Natural History Museum, which my dad actually surprised me with the Fantastic Beasts thing. I'm going to, I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to start off with, um, I like collecting like press pennies and collect and souvenir pennies. So I got, I don't know if, anybody's like been to the new bit but they have like the like the earth's core thing this lights up I have I have a video of it somewhere I might put it in if I remember um earth hall that's what it's called and it is my favorite bit it was so the music was so peaceful and like the light I love red light for some reason well Unless it's like around the room. I like it when it's like dim to uh, like red to pink light. It's really pretty. I also got the is it saloon. So smi Smilodon even. There we go. Uh, collective pin with Natural History Museum on it. The only parts that we did was the Fantastic Beasts little thing, I did film that, and the dinosaur thing which I did film, and I can't remember if I just took pictures or if I actually got footage of the mammals as well. My dad wanted to go to the mammals bit. I think I have a bit of footage. If not, it's just pictures, and I'm gonna try and remember to put pictures in. But yeah, after we went to the um, the Fantastic Beasts, thing we did get a couple of souvenirs my dad got me this map water bottle it's basically like an old-fashioned map with all like the mountains of the world on it it's a it's a like a wizarding map it says on the bottom there so this was it was for fantastic beasts and where to find them i think because of the timing because it was like an, an extra exhibition that you have to pay for. Um, I think it's to do with like the third movie that's gonna come out at some point. Because it was just announced like a couple of weeks ago. Um, but anyway. So yeah, it was called Fantastic Beats, Fantastic Beasts and the Wonders of Nature. So I got a Niffler little postcard, which I'm going to eventually put in Put all I have a load of postcards and I'm eventually going to put them in a photo album because I might be better with like maybe the world. Um, I also got I love collecting pins, so I have a little Niffler pin. Um, if you've seen the vlog for the Natural History Museum, there is a cute thing with the Niffler, so I had to get the Niffler thing, and also. Uh, my dad got one of these for my brother as well, for one of my brothers. But we got this t-shirt that says, there are no strange creatures. Um, and it is matching one for the kids ones. And it says, it actually says on the sleeve, it's a bit crumpled because it's been in my thing. It says, Fantastic Beasts, the Wonders of Nature. This was something that my dad, uh, no, this is something I bought. But the whole thing, like my dad had surprised me with it until... When we went, when we actually got there, he told me that there was a thing. I didn't even know it was there. 
By the way, I'm sorry that I'm cut off. I forgot my stand, so I'm literally using my recipe box, my American Girl um, outfit box, and um, my wax melts. <laughs> so, yeah, so professional there. But anyway, that was the stuff in the Natural History Museum, and that was on Friday. We, because we got there in the afternoon. We also went to a Mexican restaurant. I didn't film that. Um, but it was really good. It was very, very loud, so I don't know if I've actually said it on any vlogs, but back in July I was officially diagnosed with autism, so um, I so I kind of have like different like sensory kind of things, and I'm really bad at explaining. I'm so sorry, um, but but basically. With my hearing, I have like more sensitive hearing, so loud spaces just kind of are not the best with me. So luckily my dad knew, and he said I could put my headphones in, which is what helps me, which was really good. And I will have to say that to my Zoom meeting. But anyway, the next thing we did was, the next day, which was today, we went to the Disney store on Oxford Street and I bought quite a bit. Well, I got I got less than I thought I would. And I kind of feel like I should have got another jumper that I bought. But anyway, first of all, because it's the Princess Ultimate Princess Celebration, I think it's called. Um, there is a princess bag, so I had to get it. <laughs> there was some statues as well. I only, I think I only filmed like two of them. I don't think I filmed very many of them at all, but I filmed the Tiana in the middle, but there was also Moana on one side. There was, out on the window, there was Rapunzel, Snow White, and Belle. I didn't actually, I don't think I actually even took photos of them. I probably should have. But anyway, I'm gonna start off with this, cause it's not for me, this is actually for my dog. It is my dog's first birthday on um, October 23rd, so, I got the little carrot from Bolt because I absolutely love Bolt. So I had to get it. It's a little it's a little squeak toy. He is going to go nuts for it. So I should probably say what some of the things were priced at. Um can't remember with the stuff for um what's it called? National History Museum. But this was only six pounds, which is not too bad for Disney. I also got the, there were some of the keys were on sale, so I got the Disney Celebrations key, the Princess Celebrations key, because I didn't get it in time. I thought there was more. There we go, that's it in the right way. So it's basically got like little my hands are shaky, I'm so sorry. It's got like little, um, like all the different princesses logos on it. And I wanted to get it before because the, I'm sorry, I'm rambling, but the, the video that Disney posted, um, has a lovely little girl called Malia, um, Malia Hayes. I have, I think I talked about her before on here, but she has alopecia and she's an absolute sweet girl. And she was in it with her Merida costume from a couple of years ago. So that key reminded me of it and that's why I wanted it in the first place. So when I found it on sale, I think it was like four pounds. So it was like half price. So I had to get it. I had to also get the Winnie the Pooh key that was on sale for five pounds as well. This is the fourth key I have now. I have the um, cars. Where is my bag? Can I s oh my bag is also down. I have the cars at the Disney s No. Yeah, the, the Disney store key and the it's a small lock key. We then went up to the Marvel bit. This is the last few items. There is a whole like Marvel bit upstairs, like Marvel and Star Wars, that I got really excited. So I got this Black Widow t-shirt that has uh, Natasha and Yelena, let me take that sticker off, and it says, I think it says Sister Squad, 
Oh no, that's just the tag. I thought that that was part of the thing, it's just the tag, the Black Widow. So I really like that. The other one, ooh. The other one that I nearly got had their faces on it, but it didn't really look like them. So, and it was trying to. I also found this really cool jacket, which is gonna be really good for autumn. Uh, this way. It's a Black Widow jacket. It's got like the cuffed sleeves, it's black with the hourglass on the front and a little hourglass. And the back has it bigger as well. I had to get it. I saw, I first saw the Taskmaster one and then I saw this one. Um, so I had to get it. I had to get the Black Widow one. It was also cheaper. So I actually spent not as much as I thought I would. But I am going to get, if I will put it on screen, um, my dad is getting me as like a main present, a my very first lounge fly bag, which I will put right here. It's the Nightmare Before Christmas one. And I also was looking for the Disney Nuimo to get like a, a Nuimo with the London t-shirt and possibly a lounge fly to kind of remember remember this birthday. Um, but that's not arrived yet, so I'll put it on screen if it has arrived. The next place I went to was Primark and I got a couple of things. Uh, I'm gonna start off with the, I have to get fake nails. So I got just some icy blue nails and I started to paint my own nails. I painted these. So I just got the coffin size ones. It's basically, oh, uh, <laughs> this one, but just it's straight at the top. I don't wanna swear on camera. And then I got some Halloween earrings. Focus, there we go. Some Halloween earrings, because they are super, super cute. I mainly kind of got them for the spider one, to be honest. And the bats, because I don't have any bats. It's really annoying that I can't see the top of my head. I also got this crazy like Avengers t-shirt that has like different Avengers logos making the Avengers logo so that, that was pretty cool and also this was a really funny coincidence uh, these are actually from the men's section I got a Jurassic World t-shirt after talking yesterday for you guys it'll be ages ago that I didn't have any Jurassic Park or Jurassic World like t-shirts I've been wanting to get one so I got a Jurassic World one it's three different um, logos. Yeah, I think the, the bottom one says world as well. Yeah. So I thought that was really cool. Then the last thing, I didn't get very much in Madame Two Swords because I couldn't really find much. But we did do, um, I did get the book, uh, the guidebook Dad got me. Um, and because this was my first time at Madame Two Swords, I had never been before. I got just a a normal I got I got like loads of these. So it just says City of London and Madame Two Swords on the back. We also did the Marvel 4D um in like the Hall of Heroes part of Madame Two Swords. So I got the glare is annoying. I got the Black Panther one. There was also there was Spider-Man um, Iron Man, uh, Captain America as well. I feel like there's more, but I've forgotten. And then, hopefully this is gonna make me, like seeing the Star Wars bit is gonna make me finally start watching the Star Wars films. I have been meaning to since forever, especially since Galaxy's Edge, because it looks really cool and I want to know what's going on. And also, um, Rise of Resistance. So I got the R2-D2 one. I nearly got the BB-8 one too, but I thought I already have one. I do actually have a picture with Rey and um, BB-8 as well, so that one has Star Wars on the back. Uh, it also says a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, which funnily enough is Shrek as well. This one just has 2021 on it. This one just has stars on it. Yeah, that one doesn't have anything as well. 
and I think that was everything. Uh, we came down in the evening. It's probably about nine o'clock right now, so I'm probably gonna go get my lunch. Not nine o'clock. Eight o'clock. Nine o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. I don't know anymore. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!